is called The Returner, was released in September of 2023, only recently. In addition to her three Grammy nominations, Russell has been nominated for four Canadian Folk Music Awards and two Juno Awards and has been named to the long list for the Polaris Music Prize. Wow. She's accomplished a lot in a very short time. In 2023, she told Out that she was a hopeful agonistic, which means it's a viewer belief that the existence of God of the divine or the supernatural is known or unknowable. And that futuristic element is in this particular video, as you're going to see. It's almost like a scene out of Dune or Star Wars, seriously. It's so epic, this video. Her voice is so epic, her deliverance is so epic, that I am delighted to be going into 2024 showcasing her talent to all of you out there. Now, she's also out of beliefs that an empathy is a superpower, that it's a diversity and not a dirty word. True. And she said, and resists the divide and conquer tactic, tactics in of all toxic hierarchies in other words politicians our differences are riches our rainbow coalition is unstoppable she says hear hear Alison totally agree what is today's song that Alison is singing about that is track four of the returner album she released in September of 2023 well it's this she explores here in this particular video the theme of personal struggles and the persistence of internal demons the chorus emphasizes how these demons have always been present in her life, creating a sense of constant struggle and unease. The use of demons is a metaphorical symbolism, form of symbolism, and it represents the internal battles and challenges that the individual faces. Well, that could be life, that could be love. We'll have to study, to be honest, the lyrics for that, which I'm just going to get ready before I play the video. So have them all in front of me and I'm looking forward to this. I'm, I'm looking forward to all of you savoring what I have recently discovered in the form of Alison Russell and this extraordinary, well, well put together video called Demons. Turn around, look them in the face, they don't lie. 
that is it that is Alison Russell's introduction to my channel with demons and I have to say Alison welcome you are a breath of fresh air you're exactly what I'm looking for going into 2024 you've opened those doors to Americana pop to come my way if I find you I will put you on my channel because that is what it's about now did she put those supernatural demons in the back of the bus as she was singing about well Alison we're going to diagnose your lyrics now. I just can't get over discovering you. I think you're sensational. Congratulations on all the awards you've won, justifiably so. And may there be many more coming your way over the next 12 months. Cora says, demons, 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 coming from behind. Demons, demons, demons. Been there all my life. Demons, 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 surely can't outride them. Oh, turn around, look them in the face. They don't like how sunlight tastes. No, 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 no. Ooh, very suggestive straight away. And then straight into course, uh, of course, straight into verse one, she says, standing on the corner, waiting on a bus. She said, I had such bad luck. I got the bad hair, the bad skin. I just could not understand it. Repeating demons, demons, demons coming from behind. Demons, 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 been there all my life. Demons surely can't outride them. Mm, no turn around, look them in the face. Uh, it's a very tough thing to do though. And then they don't like how sunlight tastes. No, no, no. So Alison, when it comes to di diagnosing, that first verse just stands on a corner waiting for a school bus rings in my head all the time. Did you put them at the back of the bus? Well, you're feeling unlucky due to their appearance. We discussed the bad hair. We discussed the bad skin there. And this highlights self-doubt and insecurities about a person's appearance. How many times do you wake up, look in the mirror and go, oh, my hair today, oh, my skin today. Oh, and this is just the men, not the women. Because today men are whoa, whoa, more fussy than women think that we are and ever could be. So it's everybody really, and it's, those insecurities can be caused for societal expectations, can't they? That's what springs to mind. You've got to look a certain way. You've got to be a certain way. And that can become a demon. Having to live up to an image because of work, because of partnership, because of self-pride. I came from a mother 
and there's a juxtaposition in my life at the moment because I'm watching a soap opera, this a Spanish soap opera. My partner is Spanish, and is a very popular daytime soap opera for the older people, and it helps me and enables me to understand Spanish and how they speak it, pronounce words, and it's simplified. It's a simplified soap opera. It's not technical. So anyway, and there's one woman in it. And she always does this with her hair before she answers the door. And that reminds me very much of my mother saying, you know, you must always look a certain way. When people come to your door, you put on a cardigan, you adjust your hair, you, you approach the door in a manner and a look that's acceptable. So there was always this thing about acceptability of how a per person would perceive you. So it does follow us and it, and I, did witness it growing up with my mother particularly. And it wasn't to do with society, but nowadays with social media and people on the phone and looking a certain way, Botox in their lips and their hair straightened, and all of that and all these products for the skin and what you should do and shouldn't do, I would push them away. They're demons. They're demons if they come into your life, take over your brain, will swallow you and just spit you out. And people struggle with that because what happens is if you don't live up to a certain expectation that only you have in your head because of this social pressure, external pressure, it can cause depression and other things. If you wake up with bad skin and you wake up with a spot or you wake up with your eyes puffy underneath, that's just your body saying, I, you know, I'm tired. I need a chill day. That's all. And then you turn it around eventually and no amount of makeup's going to hide the tired look. It's just let your body go through it. I say, get rid of the demons that cause you to be thinking a certain way and just allow yourself to breathe and your body to relax and manifest in, in how it has to, to move on, to look good again. And, you know, the full circle will come round, but societal expectations strike me in this straight away. Freedom riders sing, freedom riders ride. It says, let us up to that good fight that we can carry the song, that shield, that crown. Every last child in every last town. Think about that. And then it says, demons, 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 been there all my life. So she's always struggled with her inability to accept the person she truly is, the life, and not having the courage to really live the life she truly wants, and being around people she prefers to be around. She's remained like this, she hasn't moved in any real direction. So she's full of demons in her head. Why? Why didn't you do this? Self doubts, all of this. We all suffer them. And surely she says, can't outride them so she's also also got self-doubt continuing here throughout the lyrics can i overcome my demons my dark thoughts to be the person i want to live the life i want and then she says oh turn around look at them in the face you do you've got to look at yourself in a mirror it's the only way everybody look at yourself and if you don't like what you what you see change it but change that first do it step by step. And they don't like how sunlight tastes. No, no, no. No, because in the darkness, you can almost close the door, turn off the lights and forget about things. But once the light's turned on, the door's back open. In comes f lots of light that wakens you up. It's the wake and the sleep situation here. It's about facing the day. And that's a tough thing if you're in a situation of self-doubt even even god forbid self-harm it's just how do you turn that around so what i would say is when she talks about freedom singers in the third verse it just evokes the idea of activism getting things started and the power of the voices joining together instead of all these demons and voices come together as one and suggest that a personal journey is needed to overcome all your self-doubts, your inner ambitions to not do something or be somewhere or overcome a problem or a debt 
or a relationship breakup, whatever it is, it is, or even an illness, to accept the unaccepted is part of the healing journey. You have to accept you have a problem. You have to look for solutions and you have to do it yourself. No one's gonna come and take that problem away. So it's all these demons refusal to be controlled and defined by them. And the fourth verse says, aha, fuss out, send your demons back to the bus. That's a powerful statement in itself, simply because it signifies a refusal to be controlled or defined by your thought process. You're gonna push it to the back and you're gonna move forward like a bus, take control of it. And you're gonna move forward and get a solution to turn you around, to have a good hair day, a good skin day. And those distractions, negativities, turn them into positivities. That's what it's about, this song. And it represents by the demons and continuing to move forward is all evident throughout this song. Overall, for me, this song is about an anthem of personal resilience. It really is. It's about accepting yourself for who you are. You've got to do that, the mental over the physical and the ongoing battle against internal struggles that we all suffer every single day. It highlights the importance of acknowledging, confronting those demons, which I've mentioned, but ultimately finding the strength, I think, within oneself to rise above them and create a positive change for you, the people around you, your environment, even if that means move city, move job, move friends, do whatever it takes empower yourself to be the best version of yourself and those demons sorry about this i have a little itch in the eye those demons will disappear to radiate the true you until the next time thanks for listening alison russell you'll be back demons no more i think my advice if people take it they won't have any and with the little bit of red my nordic friend i wish you all a very festive Happy season for everybody.